Honolulu is the capital of Hawaii, but that wasn't always the case. In this week's Aloha Authentic, Kamakapili shares some history on the capital of the Hawaiian Kingdom. In Hawaii, names are very important. Do you know the meaning of the street that you live on? Well, our weekly Aloha Authentic segment, we highlight various streets across the islands so we can dig into those names and in turn, learn something we may never have known before. This week, we learn of the seat of government for the Hawaiian Kingdom. In the Ahupua'a of Kamananui, which lies in the moku of Waialua here on Oahu, stands a street with a name that could mean to rule or reign. We're talking about Ku Place. Before the Hawaiian Kingdom was established in 1810 by King Kamehameha I, Hawaii had no set capital. As Kamehameha traveled throughout the islands on his conquest of unification, his seat of power was wherever he was. For example, Kamehameha once had his residence in Waikiki, making Waikiki the center of his kingdom at the time. The last capital of the Hawaiian Kingdom under King Kamehameha I was Kona, Hawaii, where he had passed away in 1819. A year later, his son Liholiho, who became King Kamehameha II, decided to move his court to Honolulu on Oahu. But in 1823, the king's mother and the highest ranking ali'i of the time, Keo Puolani, moved to Lahaina to help start a Christian mission. After her move, the kingdom eventually followed and moved its capital there as well. It was while Lahaina was the seat of power when Hawaii's first constitution, that of 1840, was established. In 1845, King Kamehameha III, brother to his predecessor, moved the kingdom's capital back to Honolulu. From what became known as the first Iolani Palace to the Iolani Palace that we're familiar with today, to the Hawaii State Capitol, Honolulu has remained Hawaii's center of power ever since. Did you know? Now you do.